Hi guys, welcome to the tutorial. Today we are going to see about the object oriented programming concept. Under this concept, we are going to see about class, object, inheritance and constructor. Okay. What is object oriented programming? Object oriented programming is a way of designing and programming a software by manipulating objects. So, uh, in the object oriented programming, object is the main part of the whole programming. Okay. What is object? Objects are like real life object with state and behavior. In our real life, we have many objects. Consider bicycle as an object. Here, bicycle has wheels and seat. These wheels and seats are data of the object. So, this data is considered as a state of the object in programming. And bicycle is used for riding. So, here the bicycle uh, behavior is riding. So, riding is the behavior in the programming. Next, we will see about the class. What is class? Class is a blueprint or prototype of an object and it models the state and behavior of the object. Okay. We will see about a program about object class and we will explore all the concept. Okay. Now I will create a Java project to explain the object oriented programming concept demo of object oriented programming first i'm going to create a bicycle class My class name is Bicycle. As I told you, Bicycle uh, behavior is riding and the Bicycle state is, uh, it has two wheels and it has seat. So, Now I have declared the state of the bicycle, wheels and seat. Now I am going to write a uh, method. The met behavior of the bicycle has been uh, uh, created here as a method. Bicycle can just in the statement. I'm going to write bicycle can ride. Bicycle is used for riding. Okay, now I have created a small class called bicycle, and I to test the class, I need to create a uh, test class for the bicycle. Now I'll create a test class. Test bicycle is the class name. In the test class, I'm going to create object for the bicycle class. For creating object, bicycle b is equal to new of class name this is the way to create object with this object you can you can call any of the method or you can print any of the uh, 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 data of the particular bicycle class here I am going to call the riding method b dot c riding if I execute this class see 
the method statement has been writing is a method the methods inside the method we have the statement this has been executed here so we have created a class and we have we are trying to test the class for so we have created the uh, test bicycle class in the bicycle class we have created an object for the bicycle class uh, after creating the object we are calling the uh, bicycle class method so we have called b dot riding method and we have executed the program and we got the output now we are going to see about the main important concept in the object oriented programming yes inheritance is the important concept in object oriented programming what is inheritance uh, inheritance means child class inheriting the parent class properties that is one class is inheriting the another class properties for uh, inheritance extend cleaver is used class a extends class b it means class a is a child class and the class b is the parent class this child class is extending the properties of the parent class now we will see a program to deal uh, to explore about the ob uh, inheritance we will use the, you will you, you use the program bicycle uh, there are two types of bicycle one is mountain bicycle the other one is the road bicycle so we can consider the road bicycle and the mountain bicycle as the child class for the bicycle parent class now i am going to create uh, other two classes road and mountain bicycle name is road bicycle Now I am going to create mountain bicycle class. For inheritance, I need to use a uh, keyword as an extent. So mountain mount bicycle extends bicycle class. Likewise, road bicycle extends bicycle class. Now we are going to test the inheritance uh, concept. F we will use the same test bicycle dot Java class. Now I'm going to create a. Uh, I just remove this uh, parent class objects. I mean I'm going to create an object for road bicycle and mount bicycle. So now I have created a uh, object for the road bicycle class. I have I told you our uh, inheritance is uh, inheriting the parent clause uh, state. I mean data fields and the uh, behavior. Um, I mean methods of the parent class into child class. So now I am using the child class object. I am going to uh, execute the parent class methods. So here I can call r dot see all the parent clause uh, seat wheels all the data all the fields and the method riding has been listed here i can use this method with so here i don't have in the road cycle road bicycle i don't have any method but i have this extend bicycle this class extend bicycle so in the bicycle class what are the methods uh, what are what are the fields i have i can use in the road bicycle also see now i'm going to execute this r dot riding method using a uh, child class object right click run as java application say i got the same output likewise if you want to create object for the mountain bicycle i can create 
mount bicycle m b is equal to nu of mountain bicycle so i have created the object for the mount bicycle class now if i want to access the parent clause uh, field i mean the state i can use like this in the system dot out dot println i am going to print the uh, fields of the parent class fields are nothing but the state state means uh, data fields of the parent class Uh, child class object is mb that is the object of the mind mount boy cycle dot you have the fields here seat and wheels i'm going to accept the wheels here i am not passing any values so it has to print the def default values of the wheels see the default value of the wheels is zero so now we have seen the inheritance concept we have created a parent class called bicycle and we have created two child for the bicycle one is road bicycle the other one is a mountain by mount bicycle dot java so using the test bicycle dot java class we have created an object for both the child class and using the child class we have accessed the parent class method and also we have accessed the parent class properties so under the oops concept you have learned about what is class what is object and how to create a class and how to create an object in a class and also you learned about what is inheritance and how to use that inheritance in our programming thank you for watching the tutorial have a great day